Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you an awesome drill that's gonna help you learn how to curve the ball left to right, right to left, hit it high, hit it low, and it all starts right here in the short game. Let's rock. So know this, wherever you are, whatever level you're at, I'm with you. I totally believe in you that you can get to become the player you wanna become. I don't care how old you are, how bad you are, how good you are, I believe that you can get where you wanna go. So today's drill is kind of like that let's walk before you can run theory. But I do believe that if you learn how to walk properly, you're gonna run much sooner, much faster, and much farther. So this drill, what we're doing is we're learning how to work the ball left to right, right to left, high and low. And if you do it and you practice it here with your short game, you're gonna be so much better when you get on the course. So what, here's what I do. I have, I don't know, a 20, 30 yard shot. So I wanna get my alignment stick, take one of them, and I wanna line it up between, you know, where I'm gonna hit from and the flag I'm going to. So straight, I just wanna put it right in the way, basically, right? Right in line with the flag. And I'm gonna put it, I don't know, five yards, 15 feet or so, in front of where I'm chipping from. As long as it's kind of in, in front of you, you'll be fine. And I'm going at that flag back there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my, just pick a wedge, it doesn't even matter, I'm gonna use my 60. And I'm going to hit shots, and I'm going to play uh, like five fade shots. So literally, I'm trying to see that ball move, really cutting it as hard as I can. And it might not move, but it might, you might see the spin, spin to the right. And then I'm going to hit five draws. I'm really going to try to hook this thing in there <laughs> as good as I can. And it, might, it may or may not get close to that flag. That's not important. What's important is you're developing the feel, the hands you need, the touch, the feeling of creating a draw and a fade. Okay, so first I'm just gonna start off hitting cut shots. Big cut shots right to that flag back there. And remember, you, everything I'm doing, I'm just trying to come across the ball, cut it as hard as I can and get a nice high cut shot. Work it to the left of the stick and cutting it in. That's the plan, all right? goal isn't so much to get it close to the hole. What I'm practicing is this critical area right here. That's what, that's really the, the zone where everything happens. That, you know, three foot zone where you're hitting the ball. So if you practice your short game, you're only going in your critical zone all the time. And so the more you practice in this zone, the better you're gonna be with every club in your bag. So that's why we're working here with our short game, learning the cuts and the draws because all that feeling lives within this space right here. So after I work uh, five fades, now I'm gonna do five draws. And I wanna go just to the right of the stick and try to hook it in there. Like, I mean, are you really gonna play a hook? Yeah, I don't know, it might curve a little. It's gonna go lower, but again, don't worry so much about all the perfect technical aspects of this because what we're developing is your own personal feel. You know, Tiger Woods used to say sometimes he'd, he'd open up and play a draw and he'd shut his stance and he'd play a cut. I mean, it varies from day to day how you feel and golf is all feel so that when you step over a shot, you can visualize it, you can see it and you can believe in it. is all in the, in the hands. 
Some of the best players I've ever played with are tennis players because they always use their hands. This is, this is what you hold the club with. So why wouldn't you practice feeling everything here? It's my only connection to the club. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna practice. We're gonna grab those, then we're gonna play some high shots and low shots. Now, I, I wanna send some really high shots. I'm always gonna use the same club, too. I got my 60, it's easy to hit that high, but I really wanna hit it, wanna hit it high. So let's do it. And everybody's different. For the feeling I have hitting a high shot, might be different than the feeling you have hitting a high shot. That's why the standard kind of method for golf, it, it varies from player to player based on how you think, how you feel, your build. Everything is different for you than it is for me. So just think, okay, maybe move it forward. Maybe put it in the middle. Maybe open the club face a little more. I, you know, the more I open the face, the more I, bounce I add, which kind of gets the ball lower for me. And it might work for you, it might get it higher, but you wanna work on these things, do these drills, because it will build your feel, your touch, and your, um, your shot making ability out on the golf course. So for your low shot, take your most lofted club, because it's gonna be the hardest for you to hit the lowest. And that's what we want to do, is we wanna make some things difficult on ourselves so that we really learn how to hit a low shot. Maybe for you, it's leaning that shaft forward and de-lofting the club. Maybe it's putting it way back in your stance. It varies, maybe you, maybe you put it forward. Just, I mean, whatever you need to do to get it low, that stick is useful because I wanna keep it below the stick. Not a draw this time, straight shot, really low. I wanna get it as low to the bottom of the stick as possible, while at the same time trying to hit it close to that flag. Time. I want to go lower and lower and lower. Yeah, played it with this thing. Why not? Have fun out there. This is practice. Let's work hard. There you go. Super simple, but super effective drill so you can learn how to work shots out on the course. Draws, fades, high, low. Work on it in your short game. One, it will dramatically improve your touch and feel around the greens, and two, it will dramatically improve your creativity and shot making ability on the golf course. Hope you liked the video. Please comment below. Let me know how this drill is working for you. Your comments, they keep me motivated because I love hearing how you're improving, how these drills are working for you. Let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video.